Hey everyone, how's it going? You're watching Nostalgic Reviews, and this is what we're reviewing. And my name's Nas. You know, nostalgic. Um, <laughs> how's it going? So, uh, it's basically my birthday week, um, and uh, this was a gift from uh, Marie, my uh, girlfriend Maggie's mom. Uh, this was a total surprise to me because, you know, like, I, you know, I, I don't really, like, uh, walk around with a flag saying I'm a, you know, a die-cast collector or whatever. But she knows, and uh, this was on, uh, I think, Maggie's Amazon list for, like, things Nazar wants. <laughs> but uh, anyway, uh, so yeah, Marie, you're not going to be watching this, but if you do, thank you. Uh, I thank her as well. Uh, so this is really cool. Um, the only reason I wanted this is because this reminds me of Han's, um, Han's Supra. It's orange with the black. Uh, I'll bring out the uh, Hot Wheels version of the Fast and the Furious uh, car uh, somewhere near the end. But first we're going to take a look at this. So uh, with all of that being said, uh, this is freaking awesome. And you might be noticing USA exclusive. So I assume <laughs> this was just released in USA uh, in, I guess, in these colors. I don't know. This is the uh, Pendum Toyota GR Supra V1.0. So I guess version 1.0 in orange. Um, let's see. It's limited edition, 164 scale, obviously. Mini GT and Miho exclusive. So uh, a whole lot of exclusive stuff happening <laughs> all right so uh number 294 also to be noted there's a lot of stuff to be noted about this thing jeez jeez louise uh any who's all um all the usual uh, mj whatever stuff going on uh it is licensed obviously um and uh yeah let's um open up this mini gt beautiful toyota supra did you know there's a BMW engine in there? That's right. They worked uh, with BMW to produce the engine for this uh, Supra. The more you know. Look it up, homie. All right, so uh, let me uh, get my trusty uh, Husky out here and uh, tear into this so we can create some uh, garbage plastic pollution for the planet and uh, toss that out because it's packaging within packaging. Just wanted to make that note. I hate that they do that. Just put it in this freaking box. Get it over with, man. All right. Uh, all right, let's cut into this. Okay, guys. So uh, this is the only uh, modern Supra that I own. Um, well, other than the Fast and the Furious Hot Wheels one. Uh, like I said, which I will show you and compare to this later. And again, the only reason I wanted this particular model is because uh, it looks like the Fast and the Furious one. And uh, both I and Maggie, my girlfriend, are huge fans of Fast and the Furious, and we are huge fans of Han. So uh, try not to uh, damage the product here. Come on, you. Ah, there we go. Let it go. Let it go. I don't want to be in this plastic prison anymore. Alright, so I'll get this out later. I do save the cardboard inserts, but obviously I have to keep working at it to get that out. So, that's something. Okay, let's get this out. Alright, more garbage. There we go. Alright, okay. So one more look at the box. Uh, Looks much nicer here. I love the matte here and the shiny there. Choking hazard. Don't swallow this box. Okay, guys. Take it easy. Oh, look at that. It came out already damaged. Uh, fresh out of the uh, case. Thanks, Mini GT. That's awesome. I love that. I love it when it's already freaking ripped open. Why did someone try to open this before they packaged it? That is messed up, dude. <sighs> All right. Okay, fun times. All right. Oh, look, more trash. Fantastic. More garbage. That's good. 
Uh, some of you might comment that, hey, you use that plastic to put it in here. No, there's more plastic in here. And uh, I will show that to you right now. Uh, well, let's go through the damaged side right here. There we go. Look at that. Beautiful. See? Oh, hey. Take a look at my crotch, everyone. Yeah. <laughs> and we're back. Sorry about that. Um, that's what happens uh, sometimes. There you go. There's the plastic insert in there. So, yeah. That's just... That was extra garbage. Okay. Finally. Let's take a look at this thing. Uh, Alright. So, um, first... There's some, like, schmears going on here. Uh, which is kind of throwing me off. I guess I'm gonna have to get a rag. Okay, so first of all, the box was freaking damaged already. Not that I care, uh, but, you know, if you're, like, a crazy collector, that would probably hurt your feelings, which it kind of hurt mine, even though it doesn't matter. Uh, second, um, okay, let's, uh, let's zoom in. Let's zoom in. Let's zoom in and take a look at that. Second, there's a mystery liquids right there on a hood and there's a schmear you can see like a swipe there's more sh uh, more liquids over here uh some more on the roof there let me um spend some time cleaning this brand new item and then i'll show it to you after i clean it okay we'll be right back okay here's a little rag Sorry guys, uh, you know, I figured why not let you be a part of this um, exciting journey that we're on together. <laughs> so, huh. Give it a little bit of breath. Interesting. Whatever that schmutz were, it's not like just oil. It's not packing oil or whatever. Like, look. Look at that. It's like right there. That's where it was, remember? So like now that it, I don't know, it like ate through the clear coat a little bit. Ah, oh, fun. Man, dude, I, you know, I don't usually have any issues with uh, quality control, but uh, I did a BBR um, Maserati review the other day and it was missing a headlight. And that's like even a higher price point than Mini GT. Uh, you know, uh, something to look out for, guys. Sadly, uh, sometimes you could uh, get the luck of the draw. And if you don't buy it directly from the manufacturer, the eBay seller or the seller on Amazon or seller on whatnot, might not do a goddamn thing to help you. So yeah, the whatnot seller definitely did not help me where uh, my thing was messed up. So that was disappointing. He's like, huh, that never happened to me before. Uh, I'm like, you're the seller. You sold me this. Fix the problem or uh, I don't buy from you no more, <laughs> asshole. <laughs> All right, anyway. Uh, enough of that. Uh, let's take a look at this uh, now that there's a little schmutz there. Not a big deal, I guess. This was a gift. I didn't spend money on it. But I shouldn't be making those excuses, huh? I really shouldn't be. I should be happy when I buy something brand new and not expect issues with it. Okay, so this is a Pandom body kit, obviously. Uh, nice, beautiful, wide body. Uh, the car itself is really nice. The model is nice. You got some rubber wheels there. The paint is a uh, orange with uh, looks like metal flake in there a little bit. So that's very nice. Just more crap right there on that back window. This is so weird, man. So other than this having a mysterious um, death goo on there, 
some kind of poison, I'm sure, of a toxic persuasion. Uh, this thing's really cool. Um, so there you go. There's your front view. Very nice. There's your quarter view. All right, what's up with these uh, mirrors? They are rubber. Let's have a look. Oh, yeah. These are going to be the worst later. Um, if you guys watch my reviews uh, lately, uh, I'm a huge um, hater of rubber mirrors because I feel like over time they're going to do this from gravity just like that. And they're just going to hang there looking stupid and awful. So I always prefer plastic rear view mirrors, uh, but you know, I guess it is what it is, man. Uh, that's what companies use because big boys buying these break them and then they complain. So companies respond to silly comments like that. Like, hey man, why you keep putting plastic uh, things? They break. Well, maybe you shouldn't play with it. It's not a toy. Uh, you're an adult, <laughs> so. Whatever, man. Um, sorry, guys. I just got a little bit uh, sidetracked by all the schmutz and the weirdness that happened to all the hood detail. Uh, but other than that, really beautiful. Uh, let's see the uh, wing. That's a nice little uh, logo right there with the piggy. The uh, Toyota badge is beautifully legible. Let's see. What's that say right there? Let's zoom in. Let's get close. Oh, that is hard to get close. Uh, s something. Probably says Rocket Bunny or something. But uh, all right, so that's cool. Let's uh, let's have a look. See at the uh, Fast and the Furious Hot Wheels uh, seven dollar version of this car. So. Uh, right away, you can see that Hot Wheels uh, decided to go with a weird matte finish. Although, look how nice and clean it is. No oil uh, drops or poison drops on there at all. Uh, you got beautiful 10-spoke rubber uh, Real Rider wheels, rubber tires, uh, painted um, headlights. But let's have a let's have a see. You know the uh, the scale is actually pretty pretty close. Hot Wheels usually doesn't get it um, like one sixty four scale. It's usually like weirdly too big or weirdly too small. But uh, in this case, here we go. They're wheel well to wheel well. Hot Wheels is a little bit bigger, but very close. So it's okay. So let's see. Obviously, this is not Pendum, so it's just a, like a stock version. Um, but looks good. No wing, of course. Okay. I do like that Hot Wheels has little mirrors here. I'm glad they're doing that because uh, they kind of skipped out on that before. Still do sometimes, depending on the casting. Okay, here's the back. Exhaust pipes are freaking phenomenal here. They're molded in here, but, you know, not painted. So that's that's a plus. Uh, overall, not bad, to be honest with you. Hot Wheels did an okay job uh, with this one, except I don't understand why they used flat paint. His car was shiny like that. So, but anyway... Um, I got this because of Fast and the Furious connection, um, and uh, so I, I dig that uh, more. <laughs> so uh, honestly, all I need to do is if I want to just add this little black detail right here on the door, and uh, right here, oh, wait, oh no, it's that that black is there already, so that's, yeah, all it needs is uh, that little black addition right there. And I can pretend it's Fast and the Furious. <laughs> so there you go, guys. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed this. Uh, the oil wasn't that big of a deal. It's just weird that it left a mark, you know. So that's kind of a bummer. And the back window uh, is also a permanent mark of some sort on there. So sadly. But other than that, it looks fan freaking fantastic. So there you go. 
cool. All right, guys. Uh, we'll call that a review. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, let me know uh, any thoughts or opinions you have about the quality control or about what you think about these two cars. But yeah, USA exclusive right here, which is weird. I've never seen one that was just like USA exclusive. Uh, anyway, cool. All right, guys. Uh, have a wonderful day. Um, my name's Nas. You just watched Nostalgic Reviews. Bye! Bye. Hey, thank you for watching that, and uh, just wanted to leave you off with this, man. Words of wisdom from good old Nas. Own your collection. Don't let your collection own you. Peace. Just a little bonus for you guys. Here's the uh, Hans car in my Fast and the Furious collection. Complete uh, Hot Wheels Fast and the Furious collection. There's also a bunch of spillover Fast and the Furious Hot Wheels and other things. There you go. And uh, do you think we like Han? Do you think we like this car? <laughs> he came back in F9. So F you. All right. Bye, everyone.